back to my channel and today we're going to be discussing an issue that I recently had concerning my motherboard. Um, a lot of people have been having this issue um, with Aura Sync. Um, the lights on my motherboard just stopped working all of a sudden and I'm going to like explain to you guys my experience and what I did to fix the problem. So um, recently I uh, downloaded uh, the new BIOS for my motherboard. I currently own the ASUS C370E gaming motherboard. And um, I also downloaded um, Aura Sync, the updated version, and a few other utilities here and there. And like a couple hours after I did, um, all of a sudden the lights just stopped working. And it had me a bit worried. So I did some research and stuff and um, uh, there were various fixes you know, concerning this problem. So I tried um, one method that was kind of common and was working for a lot of people. Um, I, they said to re-download or a sync, so I did. And um, they said that you should right-click on the, the zip file, click on properties, and there should be um, uh, uncheck box here. Um, it says uncheck and there's like a little box so you can like tick on the box and click apply, then okay. I already did that, that's why you're not seeing it. Um, so this was the extracted file and I reinstalled and um, I tried like, you know, clicking on one of these and clicking apply, still nothing came up for me, um, nothing worked. So um, I started to think maybe I should try reinstalling the BIOS or something like that to help, you know, resolve this issue. Still that didn't work for me. Um, so I kept, you know, um, uninstalling or a sync and reinstalling and just trying to do things a little bit differently here and there. So what um, generally fixed my issue um, is like reinstalling Aura Sync. And when I still did the method of, you know, right clicking, clicking properties and um, checking that uncheck box. Um, so when I did that, I reinstalled and I um, went straight into the program and I clicked on default. Um, this time it, it came back on as, as soon as I clicked default. So um, that's what worked for me. Um, so I'm just trying to help you guys out, you know, um, because for some, um, it still simply isn't working for them, even though they tried all these methods. But um, for some people, it's slightly different. So um, this is what helped me. So I clicked on default and the lights suddenly came back on. So I've never had a issue since then. And that was like about two days ago. So I just wanted to like share with you guys my experience with Aura Sync. Um, there's a lot of problems with Aura Sync um, for months now, probably even over a year now. And I hope that they could resolve this problem permanently. Um, but for now, it's it's going to cause a bit of problems here and there. So um, just keep tweaking, guys, and, you know, try different things. And um, concerning the Aura Sync and clicking different uh, stuff um, on the program, and maybe that could help. Um, but what helped for me was clicking on default. So guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hoped that it helps some of you out there. Um, so uh, if you liked today's video, please comment, like, and subscribe. And also, um, if you'd like to donate to my channel, the link will be in the description. Um, also my PC specs, so you can take a look at that. All right, guys, take it easy. Until next time, peace.